Blog Talk Radio. Less. Uh. Yeah. Don't watch, don't change. My independent should be doing her own thing. Living good, she moving fast. My girl, she do it every takes to get that cash. Riding around in my old school, 68. Black on black, no sleep, I'm like 48, and that's two days, back to back, I handle my business, I'm getting dope, racking up, I'm here for my stage show, so y'all lame dudes, start packing up, bright lights, yeah. no shade, thinking back to my broke days, I paid dues for like six years, I did dope beats for like no pay, now I'm seeing them real checks, hopping out of these Enzo's, she threw it to me the first night, she kept your ass in the friend zone, sex toys, vibrate, yeah. blindfold, blind date, she do whatever yeah. I say to keep every day like a Friday. She go wherever I go, I go wherever she go, and it's paparazzi when we go, and that's no good for my ego. I love it. I said I love it. Radio show. I am your host, Shadow, calling in from beautiful Arlington, Texas. We got a great show today. We're going to talk about form or function, the eternal question in JDM culture. We're going to talk about seven positive points on form and function. All right, make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus under uh, Shadow Riders. All right, we're going to take a break for some quick commercial announcements, and we'll be right back. SCW Performance, Dallas Fort Works, best race shop. Located on 1620 Interstate 35, Frontage Road, Carrollton, Texas, 75006. Open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. They offer performance installs, engine bills, repair estimates, and much more. For more information, call 405-201-7999. SCW Performance. 
Audio Depot, Arlington's premier spot for car audio installation. Located on 4312 Matlock Road, Arlington, Texas, 76018. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. For more information, call 817-466-2441. Audio Depot. Tell them Shadow Rider sent you. Game Over Video Games, the ultimate retro video game store. Buy, sell, and trade the classics such as Atari, Intellivision, Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation, Saturn, and more. Located at 4648 South Cooper Street, Suite 240, Arlington, Texas, 76017. Open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Sunday, 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. For more information, call 817-468-4263. Game Over Video Games. You are now listening to the Shadow Riders Ignitions Radio Show. All about the JDM life. Shadow Riders, baby. Welcome back, everybody. We're back. I am your host, Shadow. This is the Shadow Riders Ignitions radio show. Had a couple of technical difficulties in the beginning. This is the very first show that we're doing for the Shadow Riders Ignition show. Oh, we love you for it, Dubstep. Had to bring some of that uh, nostalgia. So I had to bring some of that nostalgia. That straper. Earlier we had that Ryan Leslie. That, that Ryan Leslie is hot. I like that Ryan Leslie. But yeah, uh, working with this new platform. Had a couple of techno, technical difficulties with the system, but uh, we're going to move it right along. Shadow Riders and Shadow Riders X. We've got a great show for you today. Going to be talking about form and function, the eternal question in JDM culture. But first, I want to want to do a couple of quick shout outs. Uh, we got the car meets that we do out in Arlington, Texas, over on uh, the Chug and Monk in uh, North Arlington, over by uh, by uh, Cowboy Stadium. So uh, every Sunday we go out there. Myself and some other shadow riders, we go out there, we have a good time. When we meet up, you know, all JDM style cars. Uh, all cars are welcome, but we focus on JDM style import cars. Uh, we meet out there every Sunday from 3 to 6 p.m. Weather permitting, because it's outside, you know. And, you know, make sure if you come through, you know, tell them, you know. Tell uh, Chuck and Monk that Shot and Rider sent you in there. We'll be out in the parking lot chilling, you know, having a good time. Once again, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. We got the Twitter Twitter handle Shadow Riders. That's S-H-A-D-D-O-W-R-Y-D-E-R-Z. Same thing goes for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google+. Plus. Make sure you go check out that Shadow Riders gear on our website. Go to ShadowRiders.com. Make sure you get the hot gear, the hot t-shirts, the decals. Decals coming out soon. Also, go show some love to our uh, mascot. Shadow Riders got a mascot named Phantom. Uh, make sure you go check him out. Get the, get the Phantom gear, the special Shadow Riders Phantom gear. So you can be dope, be fresh, support the, the movement. Also, a special shout out to uh, Very Clothing out in Korea. Thanks for hooking me up with their hot gear. I really appreciate it. And also my boy, uh, my boy La, Lamig Black. He's got a new music video out. I uh, 
I make a special cameo appearance in this new music video coming out called Which Way. So make sure you go check him out. You can follow him on Twitter at Lamik B. It's uh, M A M A M E K E B. That's his Twitter handles. Make sure you go follow him. And uh, once again, Shadow Riders and Shadow Riders at get this show popping. We're going to get it popping. we got a great show. Form and function. Also, if you want to call in, make sure uh, that you want to call in and tell us what which one you prefer, form or function. The number to call is 646-378-1636. Again, that's 646-378-1636. All right, so let us know, you know what your opinions are. We're gonna get it, get it popping. We're gonna get it popping. Moving right along. Okay, seven positive points on form and function. The eternal question in JDM culture. Now, as you know. For JDM culture enthusiasts, the ones that are really into the culture, whether you drive a Honda, a Toyota, uh, a Civic, a Scion, Mitsubishi, a Subaru, the ones that are really into the culture, they spend a lot of money, hard-earned money, time, blood, sweat, and tears into their rides. And one of the biggest debates that's out there is the question of form and function. Let me get my music right. Turn down just a little bit. Form and function. Now we're going to talk about seven pros on on form and function that you may consider when you're building when you're building your, your perfect JDM ride. And number one on form and function is stance. You got you got the low and slow or the tight and tight and fast. On the side of form, you got you got low and slow. For those that that like the low stance, like barely enough room to roll uh, over speed bumps and things like that. That style that style of of stance is great for shows. It's great for meets. It's great for showing off the body of the car. And a lot of people like that low, extremely low profile. Having the car slammed or bagged on air ride suspension or just simple lowering lowering springs. Some some guys cut their springs on their car. All to achieve that extra low fitment, extra low stance on your JDM ride. Now it looks really good. It looks it looks really good. I personally I love that look. But if you're more of a function type of guy or girl or import on your uh, import ride, you're going to want to go for for a tight and fast stance. Something that's, that's going to allow you to push your car's limits when you're at the track. A track-ready car. Whether it be drag or drift or circuit. You want your suspension to be low, but still with enough clearance so that it's functional, so you can drive to and fro. You have a better chance of having a JDM ride that's a daily driver. Now, I've seen some daily drivers that are uh, 
lower slopes that are extremely low stance. But more so I see like when I'm out on the roads, when I'm driving driving around, I see the 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 functional rise with the suspension just just low enough. There's still a little ground clearance, but they, they're gonna have an easier time getting over a speed bump. You'll still see them ducking potholes. But for the most part, it's more functional. Those are, that's the first point on form and function. Number two, number two is the body work. Body work. With form, a body that's more towards form, you'll see, you know, the the extra high wing on the back. You'll see lots of uh, lots of flares. You'll see the the underglow lighting under the the chassis of the car. You'll see a lot of really bright and sexy curves and a lot of things work into the body of the car, maybe a wide body kit. Well, wide body kits are also considered functional because they improve the aerodynamics of your ride. You'll see the really flamboyant, extravagant bumpers on the rear and front of the car side skirts, you'll see a lot of that with somebody that's focusing on form. You'll see the custom hoods. You'll see a lot of custom pieces, so custom mirrors, lots of stuff around the body of the car that's custom. Now, this is cool, but if you're focusing on function, you're going to go for a clean and simple look, which is becoming more and more popular in the JDM culture scene, just having something clean, not a lot of flashiness, you know, guys that focus on function, they might not have the best paint job on their ride, but it's clean, it's still clean, and all the lines are there, but you're going to see, you're going to see that car more at the track, you're going to see them actually having uh, tournaments and focusing on competing with that ride. They're more focused on the performance aspect of the ride. So they're not going to spend as much time on the body of the ride as, as opposed to a guy that's focused on form. Now, I know you guys have seen uh, Fast and Furious. I'm a real big Fast and Furious fan. R.I.P. to the homie Paul Walker. But when Fast and Furious first came out, you know how he had the uh, the Toyota Supra with the loud paint and the and the graphics on the side and the custom underglow lighting, the headlights, the, the huge scoop, the wing on the back, or uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift when when Han had the when Han had the uh, the FD the yellow FD with the custom wide body kit. That's that's a good example of somebody that's focusing on form. He only focused on form. But not only form, he had he had a, a great street racer, but man was that car pretty to look at. So those are those are some points on the body work for form and function. Now your personal taste, you can mix and match the body the body work, but more and more I'm seeing the clean cut JDM culture rise. I'm seeing more of that than the like the flamboyant, the flares and stuff as you know a few years back. I'm seeing more of uh, more of the clean look these days. All right, moving on to number three. Number three is the engine. The engine. 
All right. Now, some people might say that people that focus on form, they don't even pay much attention to the engine. They don't put that much money in tuning their engine or upgrading their engine or rebuilding their engine or swapping out their engine. Some people, some people consider engine swaps like a quick fix. They just have a great engine in the car so they don't have to worry about fixing up the engine. And then they can focus more on the, the aesthetic, the outer part of the car, because they're worried about form. They're worried about the looks. Whereas a functional guy is going to have a track ready engine. He's going to spend time refitting pistons, you know, changing out heads. He might build his engine from, he might rebuild his engine. He might build the engine totally from the ground up. It all depends on, on, on what his end goal is, but the guys that focus on form, they're not going to spend all that time and effort on the engine as much as the functional guy. The functional guy is going to be at the dyno every week trying to max out his horsepower. Uh, they're going to be the guy who adjusts the transmission. Uh, they're going to be the ones that only want to uh, max out their horsepower just for one day, and then go back and readjust things so they can go back to being a daily driver. These guys are really, really, really into the engine more than anything else in the rod because without without a strong engine, you can't you can't win tournaments, you can't win competitions, and you can't do very much in the area of performance if your engine is weak. You gotta have you gotta have an engine that's performing. And these guys are gonna go for for turbo kits and intercoolers. They're gonna you know spend tons of money on it. The best exhaust system, the best intake system, the best cams, the shafts, everything. They're gonna spend the majority of their money for their project cars is gonna be spent on the engine. And that's for the functional guy. Well, you got the form guy. He's not going to be focused on that as much. Okay, moving on to number four, drive style. And you got you got automatic transmission versus manual transmission. Now, a form guy, they'll sacrifice getting. They'll get a they'll get a, a, a automatic transmission car over a manual transmission car. They don't really care. As long as the car looks a certain way, they're going to spend more time cleaning it up. They're not worried about performance as much. And number five is interior. Now, the form guy is going to spend lots of time with interior lighting, um, a banging system. He's going to spend time on the right seats. He's going to do custom dash work. He's going to do a lot of stuff to make the inside really aesthetic and plush. Whereas the functional guy, he's just going to be going for something really simplistic. He's going to go for something real simplistic. He's going to want all his gauges for all his different oil pressure, boost pressure. He's going to have, he's going to have the inside of his car, look, car looking like a cockpit in a jet or maybe a roll cage. I don't think you'll see a guy that focuses on form have a roll cage in his ride. Number six is decor. Now, the functional guy is, is going to have a lot of stickers. He's going to have a lot of sticker bombs all over the ride. He's going to have a, a lot of decals outside on the windows and on the paint. What, whereas the form guy, he's going to take more time into picking out the perfect side graphics and decal for his ride. He's going to he's gonna take more time into that. And then finally, number seven, all right, I wrote down ROI, return on investment. Now, both form and function can give you a huge return on investment if, if you're really serious about tuning your car, if you're really serious about uh, going to uh, 
racing tournaments like Nopi uh, or D1, or if you're you're interested in going to car shows where they where they pay money for uh, first place, second place, third place. But those are seven positive points about form and function. Which one that you choose is really up to you. It's really up to the individual. But it's a question that's been going on for a long time. So that's all the time we have today, fam, for the show. Uh, remember to uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, the Shadow Riders. Make sure you go get all the hot gear at ShadowRiders.com. Get them T-shirts. Get them decals. Also, don't forget about the meats that we have. Shadow Riders has uh, import car culture meats every Sunday, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. in North Arlington at the Chugging Monk. So make sure you come out and hang with us. Also remember to go show some love to Phantom, our mascot. And we're going to keep it flowing. So until next time, shout out for life. All right.